This is this is this is the this is the world. This is the real world, guys. <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy PewDiePie. Okay. <sighs> Let's start with book talk, people. The death of Ivan Eilick. Read this. Has two short stories. One, the last, the second one's like 15 pages long, and the and the other one's like 80 something. The, the first one was 80 pages long worth. That one's good. Um, and the second one's alright, but the first one's really good. It like looks at this guy that is dying slowly from fucking kidney failure, or failure or whatever it is. Um, and he's just just hating his family because like they're being able to grow up and be happy and he's just experiencing this pain and like I don't know I feel like he just he expects them to he expects them to stop everything in their life to just be with him a very selfish way of thinking and stuff like that and and then later on in the as you're going on with how this guy is just going through pain and agony and, and, and um, thinking about life and how his life was and how he could have done it differently. Um, it ends on a positive note with like him realizing that he should have uh, been more happy with his life and that like he, he's, like, told, he like, says to his family that he's sorry about how he was acting and stuff while he was in this agony and stuff on his dying breath. This is a good book overall about life and death and um, uh, the purposes of life and stuff like that. And the second one was like the same thing, but it was shorter. And in my opinion, wasn't as good, but it was alright. And now I'm reading uh, The Call of the Wild. It's about a, a dog. It's actually just based on a dog's life. The dog's, like, the dog's name Buck. And I'm at the point where he's, um, he's like a sled dog. <laughs> and now he's like just, def like he's just fucking beating up the alpha of the sled dogs. He's beating up the alpha of the sled dogs. And now he's the alpha through stubbornness. Because like the other, it's, it's just, I'll explain it all when I'm finished. <laughs> In a nutshell, it's an alright book. I'm, I'm not hating it. I'm not fully into it. But it's alright so far. I'm just, because I read the blurb and it talks about how he becomes like a, a wild dog with like a pack. I'm just waiting until that happens because that sounds really interesting and I think I'll really enjoy that part of the book. Anyway, that's book talk for you guys. That's book talk. Book talk. Close. Cl close the book. Close the book. That is book talk. Close it. Put a bookmark in book talk. I'm watching a lot of anime at the moment. I'm, I'm like watching 14. What, 14? That's not many. <laughs> okay, bitch. Okay. Okay, bitch. 14 at the same time. And I've completed like 59 days worth of anime already, okay? So, step, step the back, fuck back. Step, step back, step back a bit, bitch. And one of them, I'm watching is I'm really enjoying because it's like one of those comedy romance ones <sighs> oh, I've seen those like a million times it's called Nizakoya if that's how you pronounce it, pronounce it correctly it's similar uh, to Monogatari since it's made by the same studio um, and I really liked Monogatari Monogatari was a classic I might rewatch that later um, in my life because I don't really remember much about it I remember the I remember the, the 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 shell of it all, but I don't remember the specifics that well. Anyway, Nizakoi is very so. If you really like Monogatari, I check out Nizakoi, and if you really like Nizakoi, I check out Monogatari. Just do that because uh, they're both very similar in style and 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 the way their camera angles are, and uh, the characters and and stuff like that. And he's a Heiser Husen. I'm also loving Jujutsu Kaisen. I, ha I don't know if I've talked about that yet. Jujutsu Kaisen's got two apps left. Next up is tomorrow. Excited to watch it. 
really excited to watch it, second last episode. I'm going to give it an overall rating of 10 because I'm just loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Loving the animation, the art style, the characters. The plot's obviously not that strict um, within the story because like, it's not really revolved around a, a plot, a main plot. At least not yet. It's it's more of an anime that you watch for the action. It's like a shonen. Um, and the characters specifically. Ugh, whew, a lot of talking. But love introduced to Kaizen. Good anime, bitch. Ah, uh, yeah. Highly recommend it. Go, go fucking watch that shit. <clears throat> and I'm gonna wait till the dub comes out so I can watch it with my dad. Um, because... Uh, he doesn't like sub, obviously. But yeah, like, I gotta wait till like November this year for dub, which is fucking... Ages away. I, pisses me off, man. And Attack of Titan. Okay, let me just say Attack of Titan final season. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving the plot. I'm liking where it's going. How it's creating this like kind of civil war esque theme of things. I'm loving it. But why is Mappa doing so good in Jujutsu Kaisen with barely any CGI? There is CGI, but it's not as noticeable. And then. Attack of Titans using CGI so frequently with the Titans. It looks just horrible. It looks so ugly. I hate it. I hate that glossy look. Sure, use the fucking CGI on the trees. On the on the background, on the grass, the ground, or whatever. I don't care about that crap. Because that's shit that you're not focusing on. That's just background stuff. Like, but then when you put it on the fucking Titans and when they're in an action scene, it looks bad. It looks bad. It looks fucking terrible. I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 really painful to watch that shit when you watch three other seasons with these titans that are drawn, animated, um, and it looks so fucking good and satisfying, and it's done so well, and then it's transferred to a different thing, and I don't I don't care how it looks a bit different, that doesn't bother me, but the fact that they use CGI for the titans pisses me off. It looks ugly. Ugly. So fucking ugly. Holy crap. But that's my little rant on Attack on Titan final season. Almost finished it, then we got away for the second part. I'm just hoping that since they are wrapping up on Jujutsu Kaisen first season, that they'll have more people focused on part two. Um and then work on that. But I also hope if they are gonna do that, they're not gonna pull away from Jujutsu Kaisen in the second season. I don't think they will, but I hope they do improve on the second part of season four of Attack on Titan because they really need to fucking bring it back up without the CGI, or at least less CGI. Anyway, with my little pussy rant, see you guys later. Look behind you, by the way. There's a, there's a little fucking cute, cute little girl right there.